what's good, what's good, man? Let's get into it. I told ya, I mean, anybody with a brain could figure out, but I told ya, Bronny James, LeBron James Jr. is a Los Angeles Laker. You know what I'm saying? LeBron James with the Lakers' last pick. I think it was the 53rd or 55th. One of those picks. One. It was like one of the few last picks. LeBron James, Bronny's son, has been drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, am I shocked or surprised? No. But there was a little part of me say, uh, thinking that he was going to go undrafted. And there was some part of me thinking that he – was going to go back to college because his college eligibility is still available. His uh his he's still in the transfer portal technically. Now something else came to my mind. I and I don't know if this is the same rules as it was back then. I know this is back I think in the 70s. I think Matt I think Larry Bird was drafted in 1978 or 1979. So obviously this is a whole brand new league, brand new rules. But someone correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Well, I know this for a fact. Larry Bird got drafted to the Boston Celtics, but they drafted him and let him play another year in college. So can that still happen? Because I still think Bronny needs at least one more year in college. You know what I'm saying? And I think uh, – I, I I don't know how that works, but may, hmm, I don't think Bronny goes back to college. I think he's drafted in the NBA. I think LeBron – Wants him in the NBA. LeBron, you know, wants to retire playing with his son to have that uh, Ken Griffey, Ken Griffey Jr. moment. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, shout out to LeBron James. He got a a, uh, son in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, now, you know, uh, you know, uh, what's the name? Now, you know, LeBron James, you know, gets to play with his son. And I'm pretty sure his other son, Bryce, will get to be in the league. But the real question is, do you think Bronny will see the court? That's the real question. Do you think Bronny will see the court? You know, now with J.J. Redick being the head coach, and we all know LeBron still runs the Lakers. Let's be for real. He runs the team. J.J. Redick's there just as a mascot. And J.J. Redick's just there because he wants to try out this coaching stuff before he heads off into media. Because, I mean, let's be for real. J.J. Redick, he's not a head coach, but he's trying it out probably because he wants to and probably because LeBron James wants to one of his friends to be head coaches, but also to see if he likes it or not. If he doesn't like it, he can go right back to ESPN. He can go to FS1, or he can just restart the podcast with LeBron James. Because by the time JJ Reddick's done with the Lakers, at least LeBron James will be LeBron James will be definitely retired. So it is what it is. You know, as I'm sitting here watching it, LeBron James' son is in the NBA. You know, I mean, I'm a I'm old man. I remember LeBron now. LeBron James' son in the league, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually somewhat interested of this, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely somewhat interested in this because, once again, I know LeBron James' son is not the best. I know LeBron James' son, you know, averaged four points throughout the season. I know he's coming off, um, thank the most high that LeBron James' son is okay, but I know he's coming off a cardiac arrest. But I'm actually interested to see what he does in the league because LeBron James – uh LeBron James' son is kind of more of a defensive guy. He's not an offensive player. And that's what he seems like his role wants to be. That's what he wants that uh he wants that role to be. You know what I'm saying? To be the defensive player, to be uh, you know, a Drew Holiday, a Marcus Smart type of guy. Which if he knows his role, that's actually a good thing. If he knows what he's is, he knows he's never gonna be his father. His father is the top five, top three. Some people even have him as the greatest player of all time. At worst, he's top 10. At worst, he's top 10 for uh, some people. But LeBron, but he knows he's not going to be that. But if he can be a consistent, you know, role player, that's a plus. That's really a plus. I mean, he plays good defense. Uh, he's not the best offensively. But, you know, at the same time, I mean, if he could be a Drew Holiday, that's a plus. Drew Holiday is a Hall of Famer. He's definitely going in. Marcus Smart, I don't think he's going to the Hall of Fame. But Marcus Smart, Marcus Smart's not good. Eh. Nah, Marcus Smart ain't good. I'm sorry. I'm not built. I'm, I'm not I'm not too hyped on Marcus Smart. I think he's a bum. But if Bronny could be that, that would be very, that would be very good. 
That would be very good. Now, here's the real question. I was going to say, do you think the Lakers are making a mistake wasting a draft pick on Bron? But at the same time, it's the Lakers. The Lakers wanted to keep LeBron James, and, Le- and LeBron made it somewhat clear. He kind of made it clear, but not in a direct way, that wherever Bronny was going, he was going. And let's be for real. LeBron and uh, his son want to stay in L.A. They're not going out to the east unless it's Cleveland, but I don't even see Cle- – but Cleveland's in a whole re- – rebuild they're trying to keep donovan and stuff like that and they're trying to keep uh what's his name darius garland as well too so i didn't see them drafting Bronny. phoenix no golden state i mean there was the rumors lebron wanted to go play with steph and stuff like that but i highly doubt that miami no you know who else clippers no they got Kawhi and pg and all them they're trying to keep that court together so they're not worried about Bronny. But the Lakers, once again, I said in my video, I said it in my show, I'm going to say here again, LeBron, the, the Lakers are in a, you know, they're in their, we are here to entertain business. They're not here to win. Now, granted, once again, I mean, LeBron James might go out this, might go all out this year. You know, when LeBron gets a new coach, he has new incentives now, you know, his son's in the league. He wants his son to do good. So he's going to hype up his son try to make the team look good, try to make his son look good. The Lakers the Lakers could be a threat to go to the second, third round. I'm not going to say they're a threat to go to the uh, finals because, you know, I, I, they have, we have to see what else goes on with this free agency, Mark. But they could be a threat. Once again, this team was just a year ago in the conference championship. Now that LeBron James has a new coach, he has his podcast buddy who likes to curse during the press conference, which I don't mind. I really don't care. Uh, and now he has a son on this team. He's going to want to make uh, his son, and he's going to want to make J.J. look good. And also, LeBron James is also going to want to make himself look good and want to go out with a bang with his uh, – with uh, going out uh, – with uh, going out, you know, not missing the playoffs, not missing the finals not missing the Western Conference. Because the last year, LeBron James wasn't trying. Let's be for real. He wasn't really trying. You know what I'm saying? He was not trying. He barely played. Like, this is the most I've seen LeBron be, quote, injured and be uh, low managing throughout the whole year. It's crazy. Like, this guy was literally rolling his ankle, getting shoved around, getting fouled, getting fouled to the full extent. Now, all of a sudden, he's out for majority of the year. Mm, I don't, I don't believe it. I don't see it. But once again, I mean, it's, I'm actually interested to see this. What Bronny and what uh, LeBron James do together on the court, and obviously they're gonna, obviously Bronny. That's another good question. Is Bronny gonna play in the G League this year? Which I mean, that's not a bad thing to do to play in the G League. I mean, that's basically just college 2.0. He can work on his game. That's more of an NBA competitiveness than college. So that would be a good thing. And does Bronny see the court? Maybe if the Lakers are winning in the blowout or if it's a blowout for the Lakers, maybe we do see Bronny and LeBron. Maybe they do live out that Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey uh, thing. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it's not shocking. It's really not shocking. I was generally going to be shocked that they didn't draft Bronny. I was going to be generally shocked that they didn't draft Bronny and if Bronny would have went back to college. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's, you know. Hey, man, it is what it is. That's my thoughts. What are yours? I told y'all LeBron James, uh, uh, you know, LeBron, Bronny James was going to be, is is going to be a Laker. Now, granted, I did say in the first round, uh, but, you know, I mean, hey, first and second round, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it is what it is. It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I thought, I thought they would draft him in the first, in the first round. Cause you know, he, you know, just for effect, uh, just for effect and just to make the news, but I, hey, I guess, uh, the second round ain't that bad, but that's my thoughts. What are yours? And also, are you interested in seeing the, um, Los Angeles Lakers? Uh, you know, are you interested in seeing the Los Angeles Lakers next year with Bronny, with LeBron, with JJ Redick, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and just see how all that goes, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Welcome to the league, Bronny. RJ out.